Well, after two weeks of building, priming, painting, detailing, and everything else in between, I have to say, it is done. The 160th scale Broken Blade Delphine from the Del Broken Blade Animation Series, OVA. And I have to say, this is amazing how it came out. We'll look at every aspect of this kit. We'll start with the head. Come on, folks. There you go. It's a lot of shadowing here, as you can see. I'm trying to uh, get a better angle, but there you go. If you can see, I detailed the red in there, as you can see. Um, a lot of panel lining around the head, especially the red trim, which was a bit of a pain to do, but I finally got a chance to take care of it. Shoulder armors came out well, as you can see. Um, there was that symbol, remember everybody uh, that I showed you the symbol? I said, you know what, it's it's not even viewable here on this part. Why would I want to put it here? So, just forget it. Body part came out okay. Uh, there was a little bit of um, panel lining trim over here. The uh, the waist is not as simple. I didn't, it's nothing to show off, but as you could, I kind of like how the... Um, the armored skirts are attached to the legs itself and not to the actual um, waist. So I, I really detailed this waist part pretty good, as you can see. Getting in the red was really tough inside the black, inside the uh, the, the details here, especially here in the arms. Um, you got to have a really steady hand to do that, as you can see. Going down to the leg, it was very good detailed here. This also does the same thing, um, you know. There you go. Here are the feet. Feet are simple and basic. I kind of like these feet. They reminded me of the um, the feet that's on the on one of the. Um, on the Spartan without these little things. On the Destroyed Spartan from Macross. Panel lining here, here. We go to the back. This area is all black here. I didn't, didn't there was no bother for me to airbrush the, the front part since the back part is gonna be visible. And then you have all this here. I panel lined this, R, the, um, the back skirt because technically it really didn't look well without the panel lining so I did that there's no detail not, not that much of detail in the back area I do like this big like blade thing here and the blade in the head um, someone suggested and I did see this in the manual that uh, they they painted this white but I think it was I think it's okay based on the color it is arm came out pretty good the blade is nice and clean especially the lance and I gave it that uh, light blue coat that true coat and I have to say this is uh, pretty damn good I don't know why I didn't build this kit last year but I'm glad I did for this year for all of you to see I'm gonna start taking some photographs and sending it over to scale model attic so he can uh, submit it as my first entry I don't know if the other people have already completed their kits as well, I think the last thing when I went to his website, they he had over 170 entries, and maybe more to come. So there it is. I'm done, completed. It is. I, I like it. It came out really damn good. And to give you a little size comparison, obviously that's 160th scale. Here is a 144th scale unicorn that I built about a month ago and because this thing is huge on camera that's the 160th scale strike freedom oh my god this thing is tiny 
Uh, all right, no big deal. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, Kotu Buyukia uh, really made a decent kit, and I have to give them thumbs up on on the on a very good quality kit. Um, for those of you who are asking me, should you get it? I would say yes, and just do a straight build. It's it's great as a straight build because it's already pre-painted and done. For you experts out there, yeah, uh, dedicate some time to either making it like this or make it in whatever um, pattern you like or detailed. Obviously, it would benefit for a little bit of weathering, a little battle, battle damage here and there. I'm not too very... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm never good at actually making battle damage kits. Uh, I should do that in future kits, but I, I like it. it. It is pretty damn good. And I thank you for all watching this uh, quick build. Uh, quick build, excuse me, of this, uh, of this unique build of the Broken Blade Dolphin. Thank you again, and stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. Hold on, I almost forgot, I'm sorry. I forgot to, uh, show you guys which, uh, Gundam collection kit I was gonna open. I'm sorry, you think I forgot? No, well, I did, but that's okay. After tallying up everyone's um, votes, and uh, as you can see, five and seven was uh, battling out, number five won the vote for which Gundam Collection DX4 kit I should open. So, let's look. Let's put you over there for a minute. So like I said before, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number five. And let's see what we get out of this. Will it be Destiny? Would it be Strike Freedom? Would it be Sasabi? Would I be able to find my own knife around here? Let's see what we have to deal with here. And the winner is oh, this character. What the hell is it? Okay, according to Google, this is the RX one six zero. Violent, B Y A L A N T, from. I think this is from uh, Zeta. This is from Zeta Gundam. Oh wow! Some unique kits that you've never seen before. Actually, it looks familiar. I think I actually seen it in my uh, Gundam Destiny Two game uh, on my PlayStation Three. Part that must have fell off. And there you go. Pretty detailed. And pretty big. As a matter of fact, let's, uh, well, not as big. I mean, look at uh, putting it compared to this guy. So there you have it. Thank you all for voting. Um, what kit, what the uh, Gundam collection kit I should open. I'll randomly open up some other kits during the course of the build, you know, maybe I'll do one every couple of videos, maybe four or five videos, I'll open a box and, uh, you know, surprise everybody. So thanks again and take care.